Hello and welcome to WPMU Dev, your all-in-one WordPress platform. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write perfect image alt tags in WordPress. So, what are alt tags and what do alt tags do? An alt tag or alt attribute is an alternative text used to describe an image or what the image represents if the image can't be displayed for some reason like a slow internet connection, or an error in the source attribute, or if users can't view the image because of visual impairment, or they just choose to surf the web with images turned off. That's crazy, right? Why would anyone want to surf the web without images? Anyway, here's a post that displays an image of a puppy dog. Ooh, the puppy's so cute! And here's what happens to the same post when no image displays and there is no alternative text. Not so cute now, right? And here's the same post if the image doesn't display, but you've added an alt tag to that image. It's not as cute as a puppy, but it's better than having no alternative text. Why? Because an alt tag not only helps to improve your SEO, which gets your images and pages indexed by search engines better, but more importantly, it can and will make your content more accessible to everyone who visits your site. So just to quickly recap alt tags. This is what your visitors will see when they visit your site. Ooh, look at that cute puppy! And this is what search engines and screen readers and people surfing the web with images turned off in their browsers see when they visit your site. Now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about using alt tags with different types of images. With WordPress, you can easily add alternative text when uploading and editing images. When it comes to the types of images we can add to content on a WordPress site, we have informative images, decorative images, functional images, images of text, complex images, groups of images, and image maps. Informative images are used to represent concepts and information graphically, like pictures, photos, and illustrations. With informative images, you should include at least a short description conveying the essential information presented by the image. So in this phone number, the phone icon is an informative image. So. The short description we would add as an alternative text here would be something like telephone. Decorative images serve no purpose for being on the page other than as decoration or eye candy. So, graphics like borders, section dividers or images used purely to improve the look of the page fall into this category. If an image serves no purpose or is only on the page as visual decoration, then it's best to provide a null or empty text alternative, as these will then get skipped over by assistive technologies like screen readers. Functional images are used to initiate actions. Examples of functional images include clickable buttons, links, and other interactive elements like a printer icon. With functional images, Use an alternative text that will elicit the action you want users to take, not just the description of the image. Images of text display text that's meant to be read, so your alt tag should include the words used in the image. Complex images include graphs, charts, maps, diagrams, and illustrations that contain more information than you can convey in a short phrase or sentence. The best way to use alt tags with complex images that need long and detailed text descriptions is to include the long description on the same page as your image and just refer to its location in the alt attribute. If you have multiple images being used to represent one piece of information, then only one of those images needs an alt tag to describe the entire group. The other images should have a null or empty alt attribute so these can be ignored by assistive technology. Image maps are images that have multiple clickable areas or hotspots. 
If you have an image map like an organizational chart, for example, where you want different parts of the image to link to different web pages or sections of your website, then your alt attribute should include an overall context for the set of links and alternative text for each individual clickable area of the image describing the purpose or destination of the link. To help you come up with the right alt tags for different images, we've put together a tutorial and a cheat sheet that you can download from our site. Now that we've looked at the different types of images you can add to your content in WordPress, I'd like to give you some alt tag tips for better SEO and web accessibility. Alt tag tip number one, is if your image has no purpose, just leave the alt tag blank. Tip number two, keep your alternative text as concise as possible and put the most important information at the beginning. Tip number three, use punctuation in the text alternative to make the information easier to understand. Tip number four, add space characters in the alt text when there's no space character between the image and adjacent text to avoid words running together when these are read by a screen reader. Number five, if you use a null or empty text alternative to hide decorative images, remove any space characters inside the quotes as some assistive technologies will announce the presence of an image if space characters are detected between the quote marks. Number six, you don't need to include words like image, photograph, picture, or icon in the alt text, unless it's important. The best practice is to avoid the more generic use of the terms in alternative text. And our last tip is go through every image on your page to determine if the alternative text is appropriate. Imagine reading the page aloud to someone who is visually impaired and needs to understand your content. Which reminds me, optimizing images for search engines is important, but optimizing images for your readers is vitally important, especially users with visual impairments or learning disabilities. Once you have finished creating your web content, make sure to run it through a web accessibility tool. This will help ensure that your content and your website is inclusive and accessible to everyone. Thanks for watching.